Hi guys! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie Stand By Me 1986 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Ace Merrill is the head of the local bullies. He abuses his power and uses a physical strength to intimidate others. Due to problems in the family, he is cruel and disrespectful to people. However, he is vulnerable when he is alone. Gori Lachance lives in the shadow of his brother. He is observant, intelligent and sensitive. He can be shy and insecure, but also shows strength and courage in difficult situations. He loves to write and dreams of becoming a writer. Played by Will Wheaton. Teddy Duchamp, Curry Feldman, is an eccentric teenager who is best friends with Gordy and Chris. Due to a difficult childhood, he is aggressive towards others, but is brave and dreams of becoming a soldier. He inspires his friends with his passion and courage. Moe is one of Ice Merrill's gang. He is obedient in everything to his leader, performs simple tasks. He is a bit fearful and not as violent as the rest of the gang. Cares about his appearance, which attracts girls. The role is played by Curry Scott Pollard. Billy Tessio is Vern's brother, a member of the gang of teenagers. He is naive and easygoing and often quarrels and fights with other teenagers in the town. His tragic fate makes the rest of the boys think about their lives and future. Played by Casey Simashko. Chris Chambers is Gordy's best friend, a talented and smart guy who has a unique sense of justice and empathy. He experiences discrimination from adults and peers because of his family. Played by Rio Phoenix, who died of a drug overdose in 1993. Charlie Hogan is one of the most aggressive and violent members of the John Ace Merrill gang. He is called Blooded and usually does the dirtiest tasks that Ace and Disordines give him and helps them create conflict in the city. The role is played by Gary Riley. Eyeball Chambers, Bradley Gregg, is a member of the Ace gang and one of his closest aides. He is Rowdy, but treats the younger members of the gang with condescension. He also takes care of his younger brother Chris and protects him from other gang members. Vince Desjardins is a boastful gang member who likes to show off his knowledge of women and sex. He looks down on the other gang members, doesn't always follow their rules and is even willing to help the other guys if he wants to. Played by Jason Oliver Lipset. Mr. Lachance is Chris's father, has his own truck manufacturing business. He's not rich, but is hardworking and takes care of his family. He loves his son but has trouble getting along with him and often doesn't understand him. Played by Marshall Bell. Milo Pressman is a typical representative of the simple and hard-working Americans working in the railroad company. He is friendly, outgoing and willing to help the film's protagonists when they call on him for help. The role is played by William Bronder. The writer is a grown-up Gordy Lachance telling the story of his childhood adventures with friends. He's a mature and experienced person who has experienced a lot of difficult events. He realizes the importance of his childhood friends, played by Richard Dreyfus. Mrs. Lachance, Frances Lima Kane, is Chris's mother, an ordinary housewife. She loves her son and supports him despite her disagreements with husband. She tries to help Chris understand his father, but in doing so, she supports her son and his dreams. Mr. Quadachulu is an old and mysterious Italian man who lives in Castle Rock, Oregon. He is kind and wise, tells the children interesting stories and gives them advice that helps to overcome their fears and problems. The role is played by Bruce Kirby. 
Daniel Chance is Gordy's older brother, who died in a car accident. He was popular at school and everyone loved him, while he was kind and not proud. He loved his brother very much, supported his hobbies and taught him how to play baseball. Played by John Cusick. Bob Carmia is a popular Portland radio host and pie-eating contestant. He is a sociable, open and cheerful person who likes to have fun himself and is always happy to cheer up others, which is why he is adored by everyone in the town. Played by Matt Williams. Lardos Hogan enters a pie-eating contest. He is cunning, witty and knows how to get things done. Knowing that he cannot win the competition, he devises a plan that disrupts the competition and makes Lardos memorable for a long time. Played by Andy Lindbergh. Bill Travis from the movie is a multiple champion pie eater. When entering the competition for the first time, he doubted himself, but he ate pies so fast that no one could beat him. Played by Dick Durock, who died of pancreatic cancer in 2009. Lardus Heckler No. 1 is Hogan's classmate, who makes fun of him during a pie-eating contest. He is popular, always in the spotlight, but also cocky and likes to play pranks on others. But alone, he is less courageous and often behaves calmly. Played by O.B. Babs. Donnelly Tween is a handsome teenager from a wealthy family. He has a twin brother, and they often play pranks on the others, pretending to be each other. He has a good sense of humor, loves going to dances with girls and having fun. Played by Kenneth Hodges. Ray Brower is a teenage boy who went to the forest to pick blueberries and never returned. Was quiet and not talkative. His parents didn't notice his absence until the next morning, when he didn't show up for breakfast. Vern Tetio is a chatterer and a merry fellow, a friend of Gordy, Chris and Teddy. He's a naive optimist and always tries to find the best in people. He worries about his parents and sister and tries to help them in everything. The role is played by Jerry O'Connell. Mayor Grundy is a man who achieved success through his work. He is kind and sociable, loves to arrange holidays and cares about the well-being of the city. He is loved by all the townspeople for his honesty and willingness to help. The role is played by Scott Beach. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.